Rod bearings are a hot topic on many BMW engines, especially the S65 and the S85. A few people have asked us, what about the S55? In this video, we're going to find out. So Hash is about halfway through this job and we have the bearings out of Matt's car which now has 130,000 miles. And the reason we haven't looked at bearings on these cars before is because we've never seen it be an issue. We've never heard reports of these cars spinning bearings. And the only reason we looked was so many people were asking us in previous videos when you're doing the crank hub, what are the rod bearings like? So I can report that this particular car at 130,000 miles has very limited wear on the rod bearings and you have to remember this car has been looked after really well when we opened the engine up it was particularly clean but i have seen some other examples of similar mileage and they all look pretty much the same in terms of wear so i don't think it's an issue on these cars it's not something that we've seen reported like we have done on the previous generation m cars especially the s65 and the s85 these ones i wouldn't replace as a maintenance job by themselves the only reason I would replace these is if you're doing a crank hub job already and you're going for big power, you may as well upgrade them to the Marley bearings while you're in there. And again, that's not a necessity. That's just if you want to go that extra mile and know that your car is fully capable of what you're going to throw at it. Now, the upgraded bearings we used are made by Marley Motorsport in a dedicated race bearing facility, which also makes bearings for F1, DTM and MotoGP and their quality control standards are a lot higher than an OEM manufacturer. With all that being said, it's time to get Matt's car back together.
So that's Matt's car wrapped up and we've done the two major pieces of maintenance we wanted to so he can now enjoy the car with peace of mind. And it looks like BMW may have finally solved their rod bearing issue that's been plaguing their M engines for the last 20 years. So that's a good thing. In the next video, we're going to show you 10 mods you can do to one of these without breaking the bank. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you liked the video, please remember to smash that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. If you want to join the conversation, please drop a comment below and we'll try our best to respond to you. If you want to watch more of this project you can do so over here if you want to watch what youtube thinks you might like from our other content you can do so over here